Hello everyone and welcome to Need Mentor. In this video we will see all the details about general medicine in order to get a seat in government colleges. Okay, uh, how much uh, score you need to have and uh, what was the last year cutoff for different states in government colleges through All India, uh, not through All India, uh, through state counseling. Okay and uh, what is the bond in different states and how much a stipend you get in government colleges and we will see uh, for each and every state in case of private colleges what should be your expected rank okay and in all the states like Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Telangana, Pondicherry what would be the yearly tuition fee you need to pay how much a stipend they give in private colleges and what is the bonus status uh, most of the states that I cover will be open and some of major closed states, okay? And then we'll see, in case uh, you are not able to afford private colleges, then in DNB, in different uh, states, what will be the expected cutoff score? Through MCC counseling, what will be the cutoff score? And what was the last year cutoff rank? So this video is going to be very, very informative for medicine branches. Uh, general medicine branch because I will cover uh, how much a score you need to get government college and how much a score you need uh, to get a private college and what will be the tuition fee any hidden fee the stipend bond okay fee structure stipend bond and state wise cutoff so if you new to the channel you can subscribe the channel and you can avail our paid counseling guidance uh, for that you need to call us on 9319128677 and in the description of the video you will find ebooks link you can purchase the ebooks from there you will find very detailed information in the ebooks and you can join our telegram group to access timely updates so let's get started general medicine uh, for different states uh, first of all in all india quota 50 percent it requires around 540 score or more than that last year uh, up to round 3, that is Mopo round, the cutoff went up to 5891, okay, including all the states. And in the special history vacancy round, it went up to 10,679, but we don't count history vacancy round or special history vacancy round. In case you don't get the seat, then you will lose the year, okay. In Andhra Pradesh, last year the cutoff was 5,225 and the expected score is you need to have 545 plus. In Assam, last year, see, there are two types of states. One is low merit and other is high merit. So wherever I have marked in green color, those are low merit states. It means in those states counseling, see 50% seats will go to all India quota and remaining 50% will remain to that particular state. And if you come for come from Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, in these states you will get benefit compared to All India Quota Counseling in terms of cutoff. And where I have marked in red color like Gujarat, Rajasthan, Haryana, okay, there you will get there you will get benefit in All India Quota instead of your own home state. Okay, so these are the cutoff and expected score. You can also take a screenshot of this. Uh, suppose uh, you are from Uttar Pradesh, you need around 535 score. Uh, so you get five marks uh, benefit in your state counseling. And these all cutoff are for general category. Okay, now come to the some other points. Like in case you have 550, or more than 550 expected score, then you can comfortably get seat in government colleges through All India Quota Counseling and State Counseling. In case your score is between 500 to 550, then your rank would be traveling between 4500 to 12,000. In that case, uh, you can look to get seat in low budget private colleges like Karnataka. The fee is 11.5 lakhs. And there is no more there. In Andhra Pradesh, fee is 8.6. 6 lakhs per year, in Telangana 14.5 lakhs per year, in Punjab 50 lakhs per year, in Uttar Pradesh there is one medical college, Subharthi Medical College where the tuition fee is 14.5 lakhs and there is bond of 2 years, you get 60,000 stipend as well. In Maharashtra the tuition fee will be between 8 to 12 lakhs, you can get the seat in Maharashtra also in this rank range. 
now come to state wise details in case you need general medicine you are not able to get the seat in government colleges then you have to you you see for low budget private colleges or the private colleges okay in case your score is mediocre or below average then so you need to go for deemed universities or open state private colleges and andhra pradesh is one of the open state here you need to have rank up to 20000 in order to get general medicine and the tuition fee you need to pay 8.6 lakhs stipend maximum 30000 in some of the colleges but most of the colleges wouldn't offer you stipend and there is no bond for in case your rank is up to 20000 you can go for karnataka state also and can get a decent private college yearly tuition fee you need to pay up to Uh, from 11.5 lakhs to 12.5 lakhs in some of the colleges is 12.5 lakhs and a stipend will be paid up to 35000 in some of the colleges it won't be paid and there is one year bond but it's not mandatory our next state state is telangana which is a open state here also you need rank up to 20000 to get general medicine seat and these are open state you have to do registration and the tuition fee You need to pay there is fourteen point five lakhs. There is no stipend and there is no bond. In Pondicherry, you can the tuition fee is a little higher, okay. And general medicine seats will be available here, up to forty to forty forty to fifty thousand rank. And the yearly tuition fee is twenty two point seven lakhs plus hidden fee. The stipend is very less, around ten thousand, and there is no bond. So you can uh, figure out like. Uh, how much score you are expecting based on the score i have created video for rank versus score mapping then you can find this much rank you are expecting and on the basis of that rank you can figure out like which state will be applicable for you tamil nadu state in the tamil nadu state uh, up to 23000 rank you can expect medicine seat in tamil nadu state the tuition fee there is 14.7 lakhs approx but uh, there is huge amount of hidden fee they will ask and the fee will be almost doubled after including hidden fee and the stipend they pay around 30000 and there is no bond in madhya pradesh madhya pradesh is open state but uh, is almost closed because from the third round you get opportunity to get the seat by that uh, round the seats most uh, most of the clinical seats especially medicine would get over and those candidate who have done their mbbs from madhya pradesh or domicile they can get the seat in madhya pradesh up to 25000 and the tuition fee is 13.5 lakhs to 19.5 lakhs and stipend is very good there 65000 stipend monthly you can get there and there is no bond in madhya pradesh private colleges uttar pradesh is very very good state and uh, in mediocre or below mediocre score you can expect a seat in general medicine Uh, there are two type private colleges minority and non minority in case of non minority you can expect seat up to 48000 rank okay and in case of minority okay uh, colleges those who are coming under non minority they can also get seat in no minority colleges up to 70000 rank and the tuition fee for non minority college will be around uh, 20 21 25 and the in subarth is 14.5 For minority college, the tuition fee will be forty lakhs per year. The stipend they pay for non-minority colleges thirty-two thousand, and for other minority colleges forty to sixty-five thousand. And in some of the colleges, there is one to two years bond, but in most of the colleges, there is no bond. Bihar is also open state, and there are three private colleges. Those are having very good patient load, and is good for medicine branch. Uh, up to sixty thousand rank, you can expect seat there, and the tuition fee is also not very high. It's around twenty eight lakhs. Okay, and the stipend is also good, fifty to seventy thousand. In Uttarakhand also, you can expect the seat up to twenty eight thousand rank, and uh, the tuition fee you need to pay up to twenty two lakhs, and the stipend in one college is forty thousand, other college uh, around sixty thousand. There are two colleges, Sri Guru Ram Rai, and uh, Himalayan Medical College, Maharashtra is a closed state. In government quota, you can expect a seat in general medicine up to twenty nine thousand rank. And Vedanta College uh, got seat last year in, for PG, and its tuition fee 
is 18.5 lakhs other colleges would have be like 8 10 12 14 like that and the uh, stipend will be paid to you monthly 65000 that's very good in management quota you can get uh, just quali up to just qualifying a score also general medicine but the tuition fee you need to pay uh, starting from 36 lakhs obviously in 36 lakh you can't get in just qualifying a score but uh, if you have just qualifying a score uh, the tuition fee for Vedanta management quota is 73 lakhs per year. You can get the seat if you have that much budget and the stipend will be 65,000. In West Bengal, uh, you can expect a seat in medicine up to 45 to 50,000 rank. The tuition fee yearly is 27 lakhs and uh, 30 to 35,000 stipend will be there. But in some of the colleges, there is no stipend. Himachal Pradesh uh, is also open state. It has one MAMU Solon private college. Up to 40 to 50,000 rank, you can expect a seat there. And uh, the tuition fee yearly is 26 lakhs. 40,000 stipend they pay, and there is no bond. In Rajasthan, up to just qualifying a score also, you can get the seat because the tuition fee there is very high, up to 65 lakhs. You need to pay the tuition fee, and the stipend will be varying between 30. 40, 50 in some of the colleges. Now coming to DNB, General Medicine DNB. See, DNB is one of those uh, courses where you need to uh, deeply look at the institute, how much uh, patient uh, exposure, how much the clinical exposure you will get there. Okay. Else, uh, if you do from a very average uh, hospital, then you won't get opportunity to learn because you need to learn it from uh, practical experience and there is no much of academics in delhi if you are looking for general medicine seat then you need to have 500 plus a score and that too including mop up round so you need to target up to mop up round last time it went up to 11000 in andhra pradesh uh, also you need around 500 plus score last year cut off was 11000 in andhra pradesh in assam which went up to 13.5 thousand. I'm not saying that 13.5 thousand was the last cutoff. It went beyond that also, but I have included round one, round two, and round three only. Not a stray or a special stray vacancy. In Bihar, you need around 525 score. The closing was 8.3 thousand rank. Uh, and in case of Telangana, you, uh, it was 11.5K. For Tamil Nadu, 8.8K. For MP, 12K. So I'm giving this figure so that you know like how much a score you have. So in which state you can expect general medicine DNB seats. In Karnataka, you can get uh, even up to 495 score. In Chhattisgarh, up to uh, you need more than 500 score. In Punjab and West Bengal, 495 score would be sufficient. And in Kerala, you need more score, uh, 530 plus. Okay, because Kerala. Haryana and these just Gujarat these states are very competitive and high merit states okay uh, you can also take a screenshot of this uh, slide so hope I have covered uh, pretty much everything related to general medicine and general medicine is the top demanding branch uh, because it has very good uh, um, reputation and you get uh, so much salary you need to do super specialization that's uh, for sure but after that your career will be very good and uh, there are so many job opportunities okay and uh, in most of the cases the first doctor they refer it to will be from uh, md general medicine and they, they from there they uh, refer it to some other specialization okay so i believe uh, this video is helpful and if so then you like and share it with your colleagues and within your group thanks for watching have a nice day